What's up, YouTubers? It's Mike here. Once again, with some groundbreaking evidence in regards to an intentional effort to create a sizable event at the New Madrid Seismic Zone. This is damning evidence. Of course, it's always damning when you're on the other side of the fence doing all the dirty work. And, uh, anyhow, if you haven't heard of me, then I'd say the media is doing their job and keeping your focus away from these events. And if you have heard of me, it's thanks to the YouTubers who all collaborate uh, in, in an effort together to spread the truth about what's happening. And so, in having said that, I ask anybody who sees this video to pass this on to as many people as earthly possible. Re-upload this video to your channel. Do whatever it is you got to do to get this information out. This is how dire this information is. If something was happening to, to our world, which it is, and I'll, I'll do a brief overview on it. However, if something was happening to our world that was so major that it affected, that it affected the entire population, would you not want to try to tell as many people as possible? Why do you think the mainstream media has gone quiet? They've gone hush-hush on everything. You know, it's awfully strange that the media picked up uh, the story at the beginning of the year of all these animals dying, and then one week into it, there was that event in Arizona, and then their focus shifted all together, and they haven't said not one single peep about this since. However, reports continue to pour in from around the world. Media reports... Uh, personal reports with evidence that thousands upon thousands of animals are still dropping dead. What the hell is going on here, people? This should ring a bell for you, okay? This should ring a bell. So let's let's get started on this brief overview here. I first reported at the beginning of the year that the first three animal kill zones uh, coincided with the antenna array configuration for the software used by Dutasond receivers that are utilized by HARP and other such ionospheric heaters. And in this picture, I show the, uh, the three die-off locations are at the 120 degree angle from each other and define the perimeter of the most active region of the New Madrid fault. The HARP antennas calibrate signals using a 120 degree radiating angle from the center point. The Digisond computes comparative signal strength along with each ray of the antenna for directional tuning. Okay? Now, I'm not going to go into depth on, on this stuff because, well, if you really need to see, uh, if you really need to see it all, you can go back on my channel and look at the videos. But I do want to give a brief overview. We'll skip on to the next picture here. And this pretty much shows the three f towns that first started off the animal die-offs. Gilbertsville, Kentucky, BB, Arkansas, and Labar, Louisiana. And it shows the uh, the focal point in between the 120 degree uh, area. And, and, and it just so happens that that focal point sits right above the most active region of the New Madrid seismic zone. Okay? So, uh, and having said all that, let me, uh, let me go ahead and, and get this next picture up. Sorry, my screen capture software slows my computer down. Right here, we have the locations of Digison receivers around the world. Okay? And I'm sure this isn't all of them, but these are the ones that are reported. So, and then when you... When you put in the animal die-offs, and I'm sure this this uh, this has been updated since, anywhere these Digison receivers line up is where there have been animal animal kills. So, and moving on, this is a map used by uh, originally uh, produced by Edgar Casey and used by the Air Force. It's called the or the Navy. I'm sorry. Uh, it's it's now used for. I guess to show uh, soldiers what what the coastlines of America will look like. And if you have a hard time believing that, I want you to pay real close attention to the center of the United States here. That's the Mississippi Valley. Okay, this is what Edgar Casey had projected. Now I'm going to show you a real-time picture, like a, an updated computer image of the same 
event. You see that? Now, do you uh? Let me let me let me go right here and do you see this? This is about the area that that BP oil well was drilling, and you see where that rift or fault line comes out at Louisiana and Mississippi. Well, that oil rig was drilling not too far from there. And when it, where it drilled actually created a big amount of instability in this fault zone. So, and having said that, I'll move on to the next picture. Okay. This right here. Now, we're connecting the dots here. This is important. And I still hadn't got to the damning evidence yet, so y'all stay with me, okay? It's important we know all this stuff. This has to do with FEMA camps. Okay, and I'm going to read this uh, paragraph. Hallie Burton has been awarded a contract announced by the Department of Homeland Security, United States Immigration and Customs Enforcement uh, component. The indefinite delivery, indefinite quantity contingency contract is to uh, support ICE facilities and has a maximum total value of $385 million over a five-year term. The contract provides for establishing temporary detention and processing capabilities in the event of an emergency influx of immigrants into the United States or to support the rapid development of new programs. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, well, we all know that's a cover. That gives them a reason to go ahead and build these facilities and leave them laying empty until they're actually used and filled up by people like who? Us. Moving on. Let's connect the dots with the FEMA coffins from a few years back. We all thought the FEMA coffins were put there because of the swine flu. They, they were made because of the swine flu. Now I'm starting to see this is, this is bullshit. Excuse my French, guys. I, I'm sorry. I'm a little excited about all of this news. Not in a good way either. So you just have to bear with me in my language. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm not out here trying to please one person or another. I'm just trying to get the news out. So bear with me. Anyhow, a company, Vantage Corporation in, in North Georgia, uh, was awarded a contract to build all of these coffins, okay? Uh, notice Vantage with the uh, symbolism in their name there. You see that? Anyways, the Illuminati are big on symbolism. And they're also big on hints. But anyways... This company was awarded a contract to build all of these FEMA coffins. We all thought it was for the swine flu. Well, guess how wrong we were. And I did witness myself these coffins being transported through Indiana, which also lays on a New Madrid fault zone. Right here, we'll show you pictures of, of the coffins being stored in Georgia. And uh, right here, we see, uh, well, this is more back towards the FEMA camps here. Uh, this is Swift Luck Green's Department of Homeland Security uh, in Central Wyoming, a maximum security facility. But anyways, going back to the coffins here, this is North Georgia where they're storing hundreds upon hundreds of thousands of these coffins. There, there's a reason for these, you know. There's a reason that each coffin can hold up to three or four bodies, all right. They're not going to be. Uh, they're not going to be nice and neat about it. It's going to be sloppy work, and and bodies are going to get stashed in these things and burned off. Something's going on. Okay, these coffins were not, or I'm sorry, supposed coffin liners were not uh, were not ordered, and this company was not contracted to make these for no reason. Well, now that a reason, uh, now that reason is taken on a, a, a face that we can actually see. It's not just a mystery now. Okay, so bear with me. All these, uh, all these FEMA trains that were once talked about uh, here a while back. Well, they're gonna use those things. Okay, those things are gonna be used. Now, I'm not sure if the picture that I'm depicting here is the actual train, but I do know and have seen pictures of these rail cars with bench. Uh, bench r rows of bench seats in them, and 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 rails right above the the seats. And to me, that indicates uh, a place to handcuff somebody as they sit and are transported. And the thing you got to remember is uh, the Illuminati and, and and Freemasons. They're all about giving off hints.